The basics. What is hypnosis? Hypnosis can be defined in many ways, but what it is for the normal average human being is this. It's a natural state of consciousness. The two operative words in that sentence being natural and consciousness. We are always awake, we are always aware when we're in hypnosis. It is considered sometimes an altered state of consciousness because we get very, very relaxed on, uh, for the average person. It is very relaxing and the mind focuses almost hyper focuses and in that state of conscious awareness the mind becomes very adaptable it becomes very amenable to taking on suggestions and of course suggestions in hypnotherapy are suggestions for change so to state it succinctly a natural state of consciousness that every normal human being experiences several times every day by the way watching a movie reading a good book driving on the freeway and sort of zoning out which we all tend to do or just daydreaming are all examples of a natural hypnotic state what we do in the office or in a hypnotic or hypnotherapy clinic is use that state of consciousness intensify it which helps people create change and transformations in their life why might I want to undergo hypnosis? Well, there are many reasons you might want to undergo hypnosis. And again, it's important to understand that hypnosis is simply a state of consciousness. It can be used in many ways. We see, for instance, people in a stage show, and that's what most people think of when they think of hypnosis. They see a bunch of people acting like lunatics on a stage. And of course, we say, well, who in their right mind would do that? They must have lost their minds. You might not want to go through hypnosis uh, for that purpose unless you like being on a show and in that case maybe you'd want to do it for that you might want to experience it just to see what it feels like and of course it may be underwhelming because it doesn't feel very much like anything except deeply relaxing however if there is some issue in your life uh, an, an unwanted or unhealthy habit uh, perhaps a behavioral pattern perhaps a lack of self-confidence or a fear or phobia that's keeping you from living the kind of life you'd like to live or even a medical or psychological condition uh, that is keeping you from living the kind of life you want to live hypnosis can be a very powerful tool to help you overcome or manage that condition how is my consciousness different when I'm under hypnosis the easiest way to describe that is to think of how you feel when you watch a really really good film how is your consciousness different it's not you're there you're aware but there's an awful lot in your environment that you're not paying attention to and I guess if you were to say hypnosis is a, an altered state of consciousness that's what it's like you're aware of what's going on you know that if you wished to you could instantly open your eyes and come out of the trance state so your consciousness is altered in this way you're extremely relaxed as a whole you feel very very focused and very very calm and and the brain if you will sort of quiets itself the conscious inner critic that part of our mind that says no 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 I can't do this I'm not good enough tall enough smart enough sexy enough whatever enough shuts off for a little while and so that's how you feel it's delightfully relaxing and most people after a hypnotherapy session have a have a sense of of well-being I could almost I could almost say sometimes euphoric when they're finished it's it's I often say it's like drugs without a hangover and it's not addictive is hypnosis a therapy hypnosis is not a therapy hypnosis is a state of consciousness it is a tool that can be used therapeutically but it is a state of consciousness hypnosis can be used to entertain people in a stage show people in trance do very zany things because they want to people who have issues in their life that are holding them back may want to do hypnotherapy to help them change the issues it is a catalyst if anything is hypnosis the same as meditation hypnosis and meditation have many similarities particularly in terms of how we feel in the conscious state they have sort of different aims if you will hypnosis is generally considered or l let's put it this way hypnotherapy is generally considered a short-term therapy used to effect some change meditation which feels very much like deep hypnotic trance is used more for long-term and overall well-being I find that hypnosis and meditation are excellent complements to one another in fact most of my clients in the course of hypnotherapy are given meditative exercises to do between sessions and I highly recommend meditation as a long-term tool to maintain well-being, particularly in the spiritual area. Is hypnosis safe? 
Hypnosis is as safe as watching a film or reading a book or driving down the freeway. Of course, driving down the freeway and zoning out may not always be safe. It is absolutely safe because it is a natural state of consciousness. Even people who can't be hypnotized actually do experience hypno hypnosis several times a day. Is hypnosis legitimate or is it just something you see on TV or on stage? Well, hypnosis is completely legitimate in that it's a natural state of consciousness. Everybody experiences hypnosis several times a day. What you see on a stage show are people who are naturally highly suggestible. Let me explain that. If you were to take the human population, about 25% of the human population at large would be considered highly hypnotizable or highly suggestible. Of that 25%, there is an even smaller percentage that have the ability to go into hypnotic trance almost instantly. A stage hypnotist can see those people, can spot them in the audience. And if you ever watch a show, you'll see there's some testing that goes on. A bunch of people are called up on stage, some are sent back to their seats, and the hypnotist ends up with that half dozen or dozen people that he or she knows will instantly go into trance because they, they are just that suggestible. Now, once they're in trance, they do zany things. They do those things because they want to. They want to be part of the show. So, is hypnosis legitimate? Yes, because it's a natural state of consciousness. Is it a legitimate tool for therapy? Absolutely. It's been used for 7,000 years. If something lasts that long, there has to be a good reason for it. And it does work. Has hypnosis been tested in a clinical setting? Hypnosis, again, as a natural state of consciousness, is just that. Hypnotherapy is using that state of consciousness to affect change, transformation, and healing. It has been used for 7,000 years. It is recognized not only by the American Medical Association, the National Institutes for Health, the Mayo Clinic, and virtually every major university in the world at some point or another has done research that proves unequivocally that it can be and is a valuable therapeutic tool when used properly.